Hey Stampers, get her again. Um, I was making a little box the other day just so I could add these beautiful, um, delicately detailed, or oh, they're beautifully detailed and they're so tangly. They're like little, do you remind me of those? Do you remember that game you used to have when you were kids? The, the hanging monkeys, <laughs> the climbing monkeys, and you'd hook them onto each other <laughs> to get them and do the longest string possible. So I cut a few of these papers apart when I can pick it up. Oh, where's my tweezers? Because it doesn't want to come up with my fingers. There we go. Um, and I've packaged a little pack of this for my gorgeous friend Mandy as well, because she hasn't got any. I said, don't buy them, I'll send you some of mine. So. So I've cut them apart, aren't they gorgeous? And what I did after making this little box, what I, I've done it, it's a little bit tight. It does fit, but I'm going to show you how to get it to fit perfectly this time. And I'm going to actually have a little bit on the tight side. Very tight, actually. But I want to have... Oh, I can't even see it. That's it. I want the sides taller so I can have it looking like that, if you know what I mean. So when it's closed, it's bigger. So I've reinforced this little bit at the bottom and I've reinforced the top. But what I'm going to do with this piece, I'm not going to change my cardstock. It's going to stay exactly the same. And I've chosen the petal pink. And if you notice, one is a sixteenth of an inch bigger. So the lid is bigger than the base. So with this, it is one, two, three, four, five, six and five eighths by five and five eighths. And what we're going to do is going to score this at three quarter and one and a half no sorry three quarter and one and three quarter all the way round let me just grab this so using the small end I am scoring at three quarter and one and three quarter on all four sides This should fit now absolutely perfectly because of the difference. If you're making a box and the both pieces are exactly the same, cut them both exactly the same and then just take a slither from one side. But if you take it from there, you've got to also take it either from that corner or that corner. They've got to meet the corners. You can't take a slither off there and a slither off there. It's not going to work. Or there and there. It's got to be one side and the adjacent side. So that's the lid. Oops. Ooh. Ooh. So now for the bottom part of the box. Which is exactly the same. Oh, by except for that little bit extra. And I want this now to be taller. So I want it maybe an inch and three quarters. And all four sides. Because I still need that rectangle in the centre to be... The same size that he's got me measuring two by three because my box is two by three so definitely right perfect I mean I decorated that after I put that together because I think you've got to do it like that because you are pushing this beautiful pattern there's no point decorating it like that 
Mind you, it could work that way. We'll have a look. We'll experiment while we're here. And it's just the easiest little box. But I thought, can you imagine that sitting on uh, a table with um, a little sentiment or some little ribbon on there with somebody's name even and filled with something yummy as a wedding favour with that gorgeous paper on the top. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's worth everything. So what you're going to do it, you're going to trim up And you're going to take a slither. This is going to be sturdy enough because it's only the base. I like to reinforce the lid. So I also like to add one flap to one flap to one flap to one flap. So I'm also just moving round. And so a, each piece gets a little bit of the flap instead of having two pieces trying to tuck into one side. But with the lid, I will do it on the same side. Again, last one. So it looks like a pinwheel. I was making this box last week actually. I showed it to the beautiful Mandy when we were on the phone together and it's been sat on my desk ever since and I was thinking, shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I? And I thought, well, why not? You've made it. So just uh, get on with it, lass, isn't it? Get on with it. You could also heat and boss um, a beautiful pattern on the side but why not just add some of this gorgeous gorgeous designer service paper so last flap so now when this goes together it's going to have a flap in there a flap in there a flap in there and a flap in there so it's not just all bulk on one side now with our lid we're going to mitre just a fraction, cut down to the score line, cut down this one. Come on, scissors. Getting jammed up there, something. And a slight little mitre on that side as well. I'm going to remove this and the score line. And then we're going to just give them a little notch. Oops, oh, I nearly cut into that side. And I'm going to do exactly the same. So a tiny little mitre. You only need a little bit. Because when we're going to reinforce, you don't want bulk in the corners. And then take that down to the score line. Remove that section. Remove the score line. And then just give that a little chop in. old one boxes before <clears throat> so a tiny little mitre and there as well and then just up to there remove the score line and just a little notch And this is the Whisper White thick, the thick Whisper White cardstock. Lovely. Nice and crisp. And then go all the way to that corner very well. So, there we go. Might as well glue them down at the same time. Let's give them a burnish now. But what a cute little box. It would you could get some uh, a nice small bottle of perfume in there, or you could uh it would you know how pretty that would be then and a nice little roll on or some nail polish and emery boards or something. 
you know, the little pocket size emery board. Anything. Chocolate. Sugar almonds. Here we go again. Me and me sugar almonds for weddings. <laughs> or any of your favourite sweeties. Perfect. So, they're going to get tucked in over there. This is going to come over and tuck in there. So that's why you don't want that bulk. Because when it comes to those corners, you don't want to have too much bulk in there either. We will glue that down in a bit. I'm just showing you. So everything's just going to get folded in there like that. Isn't that cute? And you could even test your your box. Oh, there it goes, fingers crossed. It's nothing's glued down. But look at that, it fits perfect now. And I've got this showing just as I wanted it. I know that's the same, but it's all tucked inside. But yeah, that one's a little bit tight. You need to remove that sliver. So let's get this one glued in. So you just can just you just want to go right along these lines as close to the edge as possible. This glue is amazing. Absolutely. I'm gonna do that one first. Pull it all the way up to the side and it grips in no time. Keep them and they're just absolutely amazing. I adore this glue. So that flat now. And this one as well. We just want to attach the glue. Perfect. So that one's going on there beautifully met together there and then that one is just going to tuck right in there that one you can use your bone folder get any air out you certainly don't want this coming apart but look how straight those perfect corners are lovely just from taking that tiny little bit off of the sides so there's the base right i'm going to uh, just checking that glue. So again, I'm going to take this apart now. Let, we're going to try. So you don't want anything on there because it's getting tucked in. There, there or there because they'll be tucked in the inside of your box. So you basically only want decoration. You can tuck away those flaps if you want just while you're decorating and tuck them under. lay that down and then tuck them under so you only want decoration on these bits so I adore these what I did was <laughs> it's not going to stay flat is it we know not to just put it on the outer edges so so you want to see now I, I think I'm going to have to put the box together because I can't kill that piece round until it's in place so just give me a minute while I attach these pieces. And it doesn't matter so much as the inner flaps here, as long as you get them straight. Because we're going to have some reinforcement over the top. So bring it round. Making sure it's perfectly perfectly right on that corner there and you're going to do the same on this one perfectly lined up again perfectly lined up and your last one perfectly lined up beautiful absolutely beautiful <clears throat> again and go in with your bone folder give that a Good burnishing. You don't want nothing. 
the wear inside. And it doesn't matter if your glue spills out a little bit because these little flaps are going over now. So I'm firstly going to add the long strips because they'll be hiding those little flaps in there. If you wanted this reinforced, then I would add an extra one and three quarter inches either all the way around. And that way you could reinforce the sides, but I don't think it really needs it on the base. Just the lid, because that's the bit that will be being pulled up and down, up and down, up and down, more than anything. What a cute little box, isn't it cute? Make sure you get the air bubbles out, nice and tight. And can you see what I mean about the that tiny little slither in the corner there? It's not, it's not bulked into the corners now, see? And there, we've just pulled it away slightly. Just make sure that nice and stuck down. And then we can close off these last two flaps. Tuck that in. Again, give it a good burnish. It takes seconds for that glue to go off. It's absolutely brilliant. Fabulous. Let's push it in. Nice and crisp. That is beautiful. Now, let's pop our lid on. Why does it do that to me? There we go. Perfect. Look at that. So cute. Oh, I love it. So I'm, I'm going to get my... Oh, I had a punch here the other day. I'm just going to get my one inch circle punch. And I'm going to push it in as far as I can. And I keep it as level as I can. And I'm just going to... Punch out that little thumb hole. Do the same on this side. Just try your best to keep it in the middle. Perfect. So you've even got little thumb holes now to go on the side of your box. Right, we're going to decorate. I'm going to leave my scissors out. Because I want to dress this, whoops, you know, I want, I want to add it down the sides, I want to add it over, just by bending it once you've got your glue on, it's going to make a huge difference. So just get your patterns running it each way you want, it's so simple to add this glue. Like I say, it goes off really good. The only thing is now you're going to add to so add the glue on every little bit. You don't want it poking up anywhere. So just pull it down, add some more. You can do the Mandy trick and wipe it on the back of your hand. Um, if you want. Whoops. Oh, good save. Getting a good save. So... You, or you can, I don't know, you could lay it on, you could run it over a print stick, or like I did before. So I'm going to drizzle this over the side here. Come as low down as I can. And don't worry if it leaks out a little bit, it does dry clear, but you've got to make sure. You can always snip those little bits off if you want. But, uh... I mean, that's minute, and I mean minute. I'm just going to press. Little things, you've got to make sure there's glue on those bits. Just give it a good rub. And just press it down. I got my pokey tool, only because I'm a... Uh, I can see it and I don't want it on there. 
but you could use this as a stencil as well and you could have see how I've got the bit there now I'm just gonna give that a little dab of glue it's got to be everywhere and then I'm just being fussy don't you worry but it doesn't dry sticky it goes off really quickly isn't that beautiful oh look at that piece I'm gonna add I'm definitely gonna add that there oh look at that it finishes on that side perfectly but that little bit will dangle over the sides now so again I'm gonna add glue everywhere It's not something you can do in stages, you've got to do it all the way around. And if you get a little bit too much on, or you think you have, just get your finger and dab it on. So I need a bit on this bottom bit, and then I can stick the last bit. Oh, look at that, it's gooing out the top of this again. over the side it sudden it doesn't take long I'm gonna lead a little bit under there didn't quite get enough on there and on that side so just rest it down and push use your bone fold if you want to for some reason that doesn't it feel like it's got glue under it? Use your bone folder, tuck those sides round. Oh, look how beautiful it's starting to look. Oh my gosh. I'm going to add, I'm going to snip off that one, and I'm going to snip off that one, believe it or not, but I'm going to add them back later. I just want to decorate this side. So that is going to go on there, and then we're going to tuck that round. Oh my god, it's going to be beautiful. Look at that. It's Flipping like a volcano again here. Let me see if I can do it this way. Just add some glue to your hand. It's just not uh, toxic or anything. Just give it a uh, brush it past. I wouldn't say I like doing it like this, but I have done in the past. Make sure you've got it everywhere. And then we're getting this on there. Again, use your bone folder to press that into place. I will nick that off. It goes off so quickly, this glue. your bone folder to get it around the corners. I'm going to snip that little tiny bit off just to level it off the edge of the box. Just give them a press. Beautiful. Again, I'm going to snip that tiny little bit off there. 
Maybe I should use the... There you go. I got it near enough. A little bit of a cap there. Perfect. I just maneuver that round the corner. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? <gasps> Love that. So one of these little swirls we took off. I'm going to add a little bit of glue to that. Look at that. Why does it? It's because it's getting towards the end of the bottle. And it doesn't want to be empty. It likes being full. I like it to be full, but I can't get any more at the moment. So I'm going to add that little flurry back there. Can't even see that I've nicked it off. And I'm going to come around and I'm going to add that one maybe there or a little bit higher. Oh, there. I think there would be good. Might seem messy, but it's, it's worth it. So worth it. sit straight. Oh, just so pretty. Right, I've got a little piece that doesn't want to stick down there, so you use your pokey tool, just rub it under the back and then give it a press down. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It comes off so easy. I even take my rubber and just run it over my arm. And it takes away that glue. I am loving this. Look, oh, let me just take this, undo that a little bit because it's the pressure for some reason starts to build up and it just wants to goo my glue everywhere. Oh. There's my pen. Oof. It's got my magnet underneath it. So basically now I've I've undone the pressure on there now so Fingers crossed that will stop <laughs> bubbling over. But I've got to remember to screw it back down before I tip it up. It gets a bit clogged, see. I should do a video on how to clean this thing. So easy to get out though, so love it. Just make sure you've got no glue stuck around the sides. That's it, and then just screw it hand tight. I burnt myself earlier. Oh, one. Right, let's get to adding some more little bits on here. Oh, that piece is going to go on there, and then that piece will be glued down there, and we can snip off. Mr. Boyce, you're an angel. You should have, you probably just read my mind. I was thinking coffee. <laughs> okay. Thank you, darling. It's okay. Love you too. Oh, he's an angel, isn't he? He's just the perfect angel. So that's going to decorate this side now. Oh, pardon me. I'm 
Look at me with this kind of pokey tool. I'll have a bigger hole than soft mick. I just need to free up that little bit of glue again. Sorry, girls. I'm faffing now, aren't I? Faffing around. They are very delicate, though, but the, it's worth the effort, especially if you were going to give somebody a piece of jewellery. Can you imagine a nice bracelet inside that box? If you make handmade jewellery, make your own little gift boxes to put them in, and, or a little organza bag inside that little gift box filled with some earrings or... I just love it that they, they just wrap around. Use my... Oh, don't... That's bad. Like I say, you can always add glue. You can't take it away. But you've got to add it to each little bit. The boys have just started watching a new series. It's called the OA. I don't know if it's it's on a Netflix thing. Don't know if you get it in America. You might do. It's a bit confusing, but apparently they rave about it, so I'll give it a go. That girl that went missing, and when she went missing, she was blind gone for seven years and when she come back she could see so we're gonna find out how and why and oh it's a bit confusing like I say and look at it it's like them climbing monkeys look at them little tails catching onto each other so it'll be really delicate stuff <laughs> I suggest you don't store them next to each other She couldn't rip them. There we go. Oof. So we need a little patch in there, a little patch in there. I think that will work just right. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna nip that off. I'm gonna add that there. It's fabulous you what you can do with these. You can Cut them down, leave them whole, add them as cards, boxes, 3D projects like this. It's worth that little bit of extra just to. And when the recipient gets it, then they feel that it's been added on there beautifully. Tender love and care. It just makes that little gift so much more precious. So, will that fit in there? I'm going to get that. Am I going to get that on there? I'm going to nip that one off. And add that one on there. Battery's low. I do apologise about that. It is me going away like crazy and my battery just died of death. So I'm going to add that little piece just on the end there. Whoops. My glue come out because I just, I'll have to pierce it again. Whoops. tweezers that might help because my fingers are so fat they're not fat but you know they they, they hold less 
there's more space showing with uh, the tweezers. Than there was. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. I just want to fill these spaces now. So I'm going to knit that one as well. Is that the one? No, the little one, wasn't it? Getting good at these tweezers. Carla, thank you so much for these, my darling. They are a lifesaver. Why didn't I use them from the beginning? Why is that not attached? But it's just amazing what you can do with them and where they can go and I'm not gonna overlap that now, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am just going to snip this one off. And try and keep it as an angle. Oh, it is, it is, it's perfect. I'm just going to wrap that around there. Oh, I don't know. Yes, I am. Go that way. Now it's going to overlap. Definitely go back the other way. Right. You're probably saying enough is enough, Gina. Don't overdo it. Here goes last piece, fingers crossed. And yes, definitely. Instead of trying to wrap that over, I don't want it. Mind you, no, I can't. I can do it. I should be able to do it. Yes. See what I mean? I had less, but this was bigger pieces, this one. It literally ran all the way around, but I love it. I absolutely love it. And I've still got a few little bits left over. And I was going to fetch the whole pad in, look, because uh, I thought I may need some more, but that is just precious. And you can turn it over the other way. You could use this as a white on the back, you know, like this on the back. Make a difference like that on the white. Or you can stain that any colour you want to match the colour of your box. And even that would look pretty, I think. But I'm not going to add them to the base. They are definitely not going on the base. I'm going to put my pin back in there. <clears throat> what am I got now? What am I thinking of? I'm going to get some scraps. I'll just look and see if I've got any pink. Yes, I have. Look, I have some pink in my scraps bin. Oops, I'm kicking everything out of the way. <laughs> and I've got my little scallop punches. Here. Oh, with love, look at that, it's an old stamp. <laughs> so I'm going to punch out a one at the one and three eighths, and this one from the one and one eighth. Love those little punches. And I'm just going to going to layer those up in a moment but I'm just going to find something really tiny to add on there and if I'm not mistaken I've got my stamp sets here look I've got this one a big thank you and I'm going to type or the thank you or for the gift um mm, hello let's go with hello There it is. Not used this yet. 
Oh, I don't know. Is it going to say hello? I don't know now. I'm confused. Just trying to see. Some of these will. Grateful every day for you. Oh, there we go. Friend. Hello, friend. We're going to do the two together. Hello, friend. There's the word friend. And the word hello. And I'm going to grab a block. Whoops, not that one. <laughs> and I'm just going to line this up. Friend at the bottom and hello at the top. And what we're going to do is practice first. See if it. Oh, that looks a bit lob codded. That looks a bit better now. Let's just test this first. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, no, it's got a boo-boo. Oh, let's cut that one out then instead. <laughs> perfect. lid on there before I put my elbows in it. Just my luck. Have a swig of coffee. Mm. Mr. Boyce, you are a mega star and I'm going to add dimensionals onto the back. And then that's going to get placed over the top. Perfect. And then another dimensional. We'll best put our lid on our box first. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm just going to put that. Oops. Oh, look. See, be careful now because there's a little tiny bit coming off there. It's my fault. Just a fraction. There we go, that's back in place. You've got to add, like I say, you've got to add the glue everywhere on this. And where we're we gonna pop this. I'm just gonna stick that right there like that. <gasps> that is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Grab a few little rhinestones and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop one there, one there and one here. How precious is that gorgeous little box and I'm loving the sides now, absolutely adore them. Fabulous. And there is the little squash down version. This is um, the same size inside and out with uh, without its sentiment. Let's get it a sentiment quickly. I don't like to leave things half done. Let me find another little bit of scrap. There we go. You know me. Oh, we've got some sequins. Look at these beautiful sequins. Oh my gosh, they would look lovely on there. Didn't stamp very well. Hello, friend. Perfect. And another one of these. I love the fact that they're stuck up as well. And 
on dimensionals. They just had a bit of height. Just perfect. Let's finish the two off together. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Beautiful. And maybe we will, will add a few. of these gorgeous sequins. They are such beautiful colours. Look how pretty they are. There's a lot stuck together as well, you just got to pull them apart. I don't like wasting any, but isn't that beautiful? That colour. Where's it go? Oh, it's stuck to my finger. That colour maybe, or this colour. Like Velcro, they stick to you. Look, it doesn't even want to go off the box. They're so statically charged. Look, stuck to me. There we go. Just those three we're going to add now. them on a, a swap uh, one of the pocket swaps absolutely gorgeous so one two three one two and three Oh, I love it. And you know what I'm going to do now, don't you? A little gem in it. I, like, I don't like the holes in the sequence. I don't know where it is. But a little gem just inside. It's perfect. There we go, last one. Oh, I know it took ages to do that, but it was worth every penny. I love it. So we've got the tall-sided box and we've got the short-sided box. Aren't they beautifully decorated? Absolutely stunning. Really, really am chuffed with those. I think people would say, why did you go to all that bother? We go to that bother because we love the people we're giving the gifts to. Because if we didn't love them, we wouldn't give them a gift. So, I love everybody I give gifts to. And, uh, and most of the time they appreciate everything I do give them. Unless you give my mum and she just nods and says thanks. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, I enjoy giving a gift and I like to wrap them well as well. So thank you for having me. Thank you for putting up with me for so long. But there are those beautifully decorated boxes with the beautifully detailed laser cut prints from the Occasions catalogue. Perfect. I'd love a thumbs up and a share. I'm going to go and peel my fingers now. <laughs> and I will... Um, and please don't forget to press the subscribe button. If you want to see what I make tomorrow, don't forget to press the bell. That way you'll be notified and you won't miss any future videos. But thank you for watching and thank you for sticking with me. Till next time. Bye.